What's happening, fam? L.A. All Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link, they also asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks for supporting. This video is entitled The Alpha Female Fallacy. I was actually going to make a different video, but I come across this article about this woman who says um, because she's an alpha female, she has a problem co-parenting. And the problem with that is this. The alpha female narrative is so ridiculous, but these people think it's real. So I looked up alpha female and I got on the Urban Dictionary. So I'm going to read this for you. An alpha female is a dominant female in a group. She dates as many males as she wants, is strong and confident. First, if you look up the definition of strong, it means physically, strong, physically powerful. Okay. Now, and confident and a hard worker as well as often busy. She is usually sarcastic because she's powerful and playful. Sarcasm has nothing to do with being powerful, maybe playful, but nothing powerful. F Alpha females are intelligent, intellectual problem solvers. And though being an alpha female is more of a state of mind than a physicality, an alpha understands that dressing up or, or sexy increases her power in society. So she does it. Alpha females are often terribly misunderstood by beta and lesser males as evident by the post about alpha females. And when this happens, they're called B's, C's and W's and H's, whatever. Alpha females prefer passion over romance. Although if it's romance coming from an alpha male, a hot one, they per a hot when they put a lot of letters on that. That's another story. A definition number two, a powerful, assertive woman. If you look up the definition of assertive, let me read it to you because I got my dictionary right here. Okay. Assertive, persistently, comma, forcefully, comma, or boldly, positive, or confident. Positive, just saying. A powerful, assertive woman, her confidence may be due to her good looks and or superior intelligence. Men desire her and girls with low self-esteem hate her. Now, I had to go through this because this fallacy of being an alpha female is ridiculous. I'm going to tell you the first reason it's ridiculous. Because once you say you're strong, that has to do with physicality. So you can't, you know, say something that has, that is based in physicality and say, but it's not about physical. <laughs> you tripping. Because the way they approach people is like they would say in alpha male would, right? And in alpha male, the definition of that is a dominant male in a particular group. A man tending to assume a dominant or domineering role in social or professional settings. So in that narrative, physicality may come into play. Okay. So when these alpha females who I'm going to get into this right now, say, you know, it's a state of mind. That state of mind come with physicality. That toxic masculinity, that aggression that comes with alpha, the one that you're trying to emulate. Now, this is why I said what I just said. This gender roles are fluid. It's funny. That's real funny. If gender roles are so fluid, why you just can't be alpha? Why you got to be an alpha female that says your gender, right? Why redefine it for a female? Because it's a different gender, right? See, this is the fallacy of this alpha female stuff and an alpha male and an alpha female. It's just, this is a problem with having a state of mind. As so a man thinketh, so he is. That's, you know, we all know that biblical phrase. But see, you got to prove it. You got to start doing it. You speak it into existence and do it. These alpha females 
don't have to prove that they're alpha. It's just a state of mind. They stop at the action part. Because when you're trying to, you know, men and women are different. You know, men will dominate you physically, mentally. Women want to dominate you mentally and with and and and, and orally. I mean, what I mean by orally is talking it with, with words. That doesn't fly with men. You're not gonna talk. Oh, she said so many powerful words. I just I can't survive. No. No. Now the article which I'm gonna put in the description box, um. It was about the woman saying because she she couldn't she has a problem co-parenting because she's an alpha female, which no, you were just being a jerk. And Edward Anderson talked about this yesterday. Being a jerk is not being alpha. That's why when it said assertive, I did said the definition and it's positive. See, people want to put these negative connotations on if I'm assertive, that don't mean be a jerk. I'm strong. That don't mean be a jerk. I'm powerful. That don't mean be a jerk. I'm intelligent. That doesn't mean be a jerk. See, basically, this idea that you can be alpha and be be a jerk to people has no, and because you, you took on the alpha, alpha mindset and persona that you can't get your head knocked off is very immature because most alpha males and know this. Don't go around um, kicking up dust because you're alpha. Because you're gonna get that. You're gonna get something back. So this idea that you can be alpha and just go kick up dust as an alpha female, you can go kick up dust everywhere. But all of a sudden, the gender roles come into play because you're a woman. Don't can't nothing come back to you. You know that's wrong. That's bull. That's bull. You know. Because a young lady was talking about it, making basically unilateral decisions because, you know, I, I can do what I want. Oh, really? You can do what you want as a parent, but then when it don't pan out, now you're not alpha no more? That's the other, the fallacy about an alpha female. If you so alpha, you got to pay the cost to be the boss. You, you, you if, if you went out there... You are a, a team all to your own. If you win, it's your fault. And if you lose, it's your fault. So when you win and you running around how strong and independent and empowered and alpha you are, you ain't got no problem. But when you lose, we're the, we're the strong men. No. No. Mm -mm. No. You lost. Don't look to blame anybody. Look in the mirror. Blame yourself. You know, you got beat. You got cocky. You got overconfident. You didn't get it done. You know, this is the part of being, you know, you're so alpha in in this mind state. But when alpha hit, because alpha alpha males get get humbled all the time. You just going you know, if you alpha, you would know this. You're gonna get humbled, and you're gonna have to pick yourself back up. You get humble, and, but see, here's the, when you're an alpha male, when you get humbled, and you start pointing around everybody, mm -mm, you're done, son. Because now, people know you, you're not really, you are emulating the alpha, but you can't pick yourself up. Now you, it's the blame game. It's all y'all. Y'all did that. So that ain't alpha, because you can't take responsibility for what happened, win, lose, or draw. See, alpha is not how you act in a win in life. It's how you act in a loss in life. That's what people forget. It's not how you act in success. It's how you act in failure. Because if you can win like a king, you can lose like a king. If you can win like an alpha, you can lose like alpha. I got bested today. No problem. Congratulations. I brought my best. You brought your best. You won. Next time, be a different story. You know, but this alpha female thing is, there. you know, 
there's all of the you 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 alpha female with a support system and a network and and the police <laughs> you know and the president and the pope and everybody's around you protecting you and if it but if they get through all of the protections like all of a sudden it's everybody else's fault that you lost but not the fact that you you didn't really prepare yourself properly you know this ideology that because I'm smart I'm alpha no, being smart doesn't make you alpha. All you people who just watched The Lion King all over again, Scar felt like he was smarter than Mufasa. That didn't make him alpha, that just made him smart. And he wasn't that smart because it didn't end out, end out that well, was it? And this is part of the alpha female fallacy. These situations don't end well. You can lie your way and manipulate your way. And con, your, and con and con your way into situations. But if they don't end well, obviously you ain't that bright. You know, if you have to put yourself in a position where all of a sudden, oh, I shouldn't have done that. What am I going to do now? You, you so alpha and intelligent. What, what do you think is going to work? And... I hate that this is longer than 10 minutes, but I'm going to say this and then I'm going to get off of here. What the fallacy is because when you're an alpha female, you get to get to manipulate. That's not alpha. You get to lie. That's not alpha. You get to, once you pass blame and judgment on other people, you get to try to lie and manipulate your way into a new situation and, go, and call yourself alpha because you scam your way into a situation. And then you don't want any repercussion for being a scam artist. That's not alpha. So, stop it. Because if you can't be alpha all the time, then you can't be alpha none of the time. So I'm done. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.